Hello everyone! Exodus here! Beyond excited! I can tell you, beyond excited, from the bottom of my heart, beyond excited to play this game. I'm welcoming you to our newest gaming adventure for a mature audience, of course. The Chronicles of Quiverdick. Yes! I've been so excited for this ever since I finished Metal as Fuck. Another amazing game. I've heard nothing but good things about this game, not only from the creator telling me it's got a lot more humor, but from the community around saying that this is an amazing game. So, I think I'm going to do the best I can to present this game with as much fun as possible. I'm going to try. I don't know what's going to come out of it. Hopefully good things. Maybe I'll make them shorter episodes or longer. I don't know. Uh, longer might not be a good idea. Hour and a half, two hour long episodes. Whoa, no. Nah. Now, let's just stick to trying to make it fun. So, uh, uh, I've avoided watching anybody else play this. I have no idea for jokes or anything, so I'm just, I'm nervous. So let's go ahead and, in a good way, nervous in a good way. Let's go begin, I'm babbling. Old Man Quiver's House. Looks a little different than when we came across it in Metal as Fuck. There's Andrew. Hey, Grandpa, what creature do you think we would win in a fight? A bugbear or a minotaur? A bugbear would definitely win, stupid. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Yes, you are. Stupid McStupid Pants. Grandpa, I'm not stupid, am I? Well, um, that's a really good question. Andrew? See, I told you, you're stupid. Even Grandpa thinks so. Now, now, Emma. It's not that Andrew is stupid. It's just that... How do I put this without hurting your feelings, Andrew? Y yes, Grandpa? Y you're stupid. <laughs> Bird! Stupid big stupid dance! Cunt. Oh! Nice! Uh-oh! What did you just call her? Uh... Uh, cunt grandma? Oh. Well then, carry on! <laughs> she don't even... <laughs> she don't even care! That's, that reminds me of somebody's grandma. Oh, I really miss that lady. <sighs> grandpa, why did they call you Old Man Quiver again? Oh! That's because I used to be an adventurer until I took an arrow to the dick. There's your reminder, everybody. <laughs> Is that why your friends call you Quiver Dick, Grandpa? <laughs> what friends? Sick burn, Grandma. E yes, yes. We've established that I'm a lonely old man with no friends. Though it wasn't always that way. Did you have friends in your adventuring days, Grandpa? Oh, yes. Loads of them. I was quite the legend, you know. Oh, no. That's true! Your grandfather was quite the hero in his time. If they made a play about your hero deeds, who do you think would play your role in the theaters, Grandpa? Oh, probably some really handsome hero, like Vin Diesel. He's got the, the ball. Or, or perhaps even Jason Statham. He's quite good. <laughs> Or maybe a significantly less racist version of Mel Gibson. <laughs> oh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm already losing control of my bodily fluids. I want to cough and let snot fly. I like one of them classic anime cartoons where we're something stupid, like, you know, a hot a hot babe walks in the room and the nose bleeds. Only when I laugh profusely, I just lose control of everything in between bleeding and the lower half. Yeah, uh, this is not. Bleh. Oh, God. <sighs> Can you tell us a story from your glory days, Grandpa? I suppose I could, Andrew. Let's see here. Ah, I've got the perfect tale for you. This is the tale of how I met your grandmother. Ooh, a romantic story. Yay! Buckle your motherfucking seatbelts, kids. I'm... It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <sighs> like, the ultimate grandpa. There is a mouse pointer in the middle of my screen. Let's just, let's just squeak you on over there. 
with all of their motherfucking seatbelts buckled, old man Quiver's story begins to unfold. Just how this game leads in right here. Without going any further, I could say, if the creator really wanted to, and the creator received a lot of positive feedback, and I'll be honest, I'll give my personal feedback after I get into some combat and some more story, because, I mean, you gotta, you gotta have all the details of the game before you say, oh, it's a great game. That being said, if it's anything like the last game, I'm gonna probably tell everybody to buy it. It's even cheaper. But, this intro allows us to possibly see more Quiver Dick stories in the future. That would be really cool, especially if it's good. I mean, turn-based battle, it's already gonna be good. You know, and humor, Quiver Dick, he already got shot in the penis. It, I swear to God, if that if that's in this story, oh my goodness, no. God would do nothing for me, would he? I swear to fuck. I think that's appropriate for this game. Yep, I think so. Okay, we got ourselves a rickety wagon, huh? Everything looks nice and vibrant. I like the color setup. Oh yeah. Richard Long Richard Longschlong. Ho oh. God <laughs> I used to use the word schlong all the time when I was a kid. Just to read it in someone's goddamn name in a game is like making me want to cry in happiness. Like, my middle name is Richard. My son's middle name is Richard. My father's name is Richard. We all abbreviate it with Dick. So we got Dick Long, Dick Long Schlong here. <laughs> Damn, I'm sure <laughs> that sure was exceptionally bumpy ride. I'm glad I buckled my motherfucking seatbelt. Really? I wonder where the hell I am. This doesn't look like a town to me. That damn merchant must have sold me faulty directions. I've been traveling for days. So, I'm wondering, is Richard Longschlong Quiverdick? Oh, great. And now it's starting to storm me. Just my luck. I'm guessing so, just before he went bald. Come on, boy, let's get in. What? You've got to be fucking kidding me. Well, well, I guess I'll have to do my exploring by foot. I need to get out of this ring. Dude! Would you like... Yeah! My horse just exploded. Looks like I'm going to get four people. I don't. Oh, my God. Yes! All that remains of the horse is a smoking pile of hair and bones. Wow! Do I got any loot in here? You search through the wagon and grab what little you can carry before setting off on foot. A bag containing 100 gold was found. Nice. Two potion bottles. Nice. Two bottles of magic water were found. Nice! Alright, I should do it. Search bonus. Richard is now level 2. Multi-shot learned. Old pistol? Cool! Okay. One thing I'm super happy about right now, okay? I'm using the, the, the D-pad, the directional pad, not the stick. I didn't have to do no settings, as well as full screen. As well as game capture looks like it's working. I swear to God, if I go to editing and this thing didn't record or something stupid, I'm gonna lose myself. But that's okay. That's for another, that's, that's a story for another time. The rain fell so thick that it felt like little ice cubes hitting my spectacular rock-hard chiseled body. <laughs> what? What was that for? The hardest your body has ever been is about equivalent to a marshmallow roasted on a campfire. Ah, well, all of the important parts of my body are hard. Amen! Oh, God! You sure are one smooth player, Grandpa. Ha! <laughs> God damn right I am. Wow, this is gonna be good. As nice as it is, as nice as it is to see that I'm still awesome in the future, my clothes are fucking soaked, and it's cold as uh, it gets as cold as a yeti's balls out here. Well, what? Uh oh, 
You know, I'm trying to process that one, because I, I... So many games have made me quest for Yeti fur to make coats and stuff. It's like, wouldn't no Yeti's balls be, like, nice and voluptuous and warm? Gaming on! Can we please continue the story so I can get moving? Oh, shut up! At least you know you live in the end. He's talking to his story self! Aw, oh, spoilers! You know you live in the end. The kid's like, aw, oh, spoil. Well, duck it! Hello. Well, that's not obvious. Hmm, what's in here? A bag containing 50 gold was now. Even a potion. Awesome! Yeah. Honorary grave marker. Well, we can take a look. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. He tried so hard and got so far, and in the end, he brought joy to millions of people around the world. Thank you for everything. May your soul rest in peace. He really was amazing. He was, wasn't he? I wonder who. I might have to do a little research on that. I mean, not to sound bleak, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Bennington. I didn't even double click it. I will! I think I gotta go across that water. Uh, yeah. what, what's that? What are you? Murgle! Stop right there, Traveler! Eh? Who the fuck are you? I am Murgle, all by eight. Okay. I guard this river with my life. I come from a long line of noble Murgle Burgles, and I swore an oath to defend this river from all trespassers. Cool story, bro. I just want to get out of the rain, and it looks like there could be an establishment of some sort behind you. I'd like to pass, please. Many have tried. All have failed. That's cool and all, man, really, but I really just want to get out of the rain. I don't want any trouble. It's straightforward. Warning, you out, Traveler. If you attempt to pass this river, you will meet an inevitably terrible fate. Meh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass now. Thank you. Try and you'll meet your... Well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. This has never really happened to me before. I'm, I'm not exactly what to, sure what to do in this particular situation. Uh, I totally didn't expect you to just walk around me. Uh, sorry about that. Yep, major miscalculation on Myrtle's part. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go now, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you uh, you go ahead and do that. Myrtle will just stay here and defend the river from trespassers. Best of luck to you, Myrtle. Thanks to you, Traveler. Oh, thanks, you too. Whatever. I don't care. That was pretty legit. I talked. Like, I talked to him. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. Nothing to click. Nothing to surprise. Can I click at the tree? Nothing? Oh. Nothing? No? Oh, okay. Gotta look. After defeating the almighty Murgle in single combat, you already told us what really happened, Richard. If you're going to bullshit your way through a story, you have to start with the bullshit part. Fine. After I bravely defeated Burgle and his entire Burgle Burgle clan in 30 on 1 combat. Sigh. <laughs> She's like, uh, this guy. I have to come across a boathouse not too far to the south. Oh, I love boathouse. Or, oh, uh, well, boats. That's that assuming thing. Well, Emma, these boats sucked. But I'll get to that part of the story soon. Uh-oh. I have a feeling I shouldn't be getting on any boats during this journey. You don't have much of a choice. Sure I do. You gave me a pretty clear warning that the boats here suck, so I'm fairly certain I'm not getting any fucking boats. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, you gotta learn why the boats suck. I bet. Grandpa, who are you talking to? Ah, uh, uh, oh. No one, you little shit. Why your own damn business? Sorry, Grandpa. The kid's got a smile, you know? It's like, he's used to this. Oh my gosh, what a family. Today must be my lucky day. I can only picture Richard's kid, because this is his grandkid, I think. You found a big, sloppy eggplant. I don't know what the hell this is, but it feels disgusting. Golden treasure chest. I'm level three. Med wounds. Wow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be like stacked with levels and stuff before I even Let's take a peek inside. A bag containing 50 gold. Got a rejuvenation elixir. I'll find a use for this. Uh, uh, I hope not. That means I'm getting my butt whipped. I want up there. There's a path. So it looks like there's a way to loop around. Oh, wait. Hold up. Ah, I bet there's something really great inside of this one. Who the heck are you? 
Not so fast. Pot. Wait, what? Or this chest belongs to Pontius, the magician, a younger Pontius. Wait, Pontius and Quiverdick knew each other? I have hidden some gold treasure chests around the land, waiting for an adventure like you to show up. An adventure like me? What is it you seek, magician? The price for opening this chest will cost you one thing and one thing only. Pontius pulls an empty pipe from his robes and shows it to Richard Longschlong. I'm out of herbs, so if you got any, I could really use a hint. Some things never change. I don't have any on me. Sorry. Well, that's rather disappointing. I figured putting gold treasure chests around the land would appeal to stoners looking to get their hands on some free shit. Good plan, I suppose. Well, I guess now that I'm here, if you want the chest, I'll ask you a question or something. If you answer correctly, maybe I'll let you have the stuff in it. Alright, I'm listening. Hmm, let me think. Don't think too hard there. I got it! Okay. There exists a paladin who serves under the Metal Order and helped vanquish a great demon god by the name of Amartheus. What was this paladin's name? First and foremost, this is a past story. His name was Shale, and he was metal as fuck. I'll be honest, I'm surprised you got that right. I was kind of hoping you'd get it wrong so I could just keep my shit and not have to give it away. Sorry, Pontius. Oh well, fair's fair, I suppose. You can go ahead and have whatever you fight aside. I'm off to find more herbs. Uh-huh. Well, we'll probably see him again. Hunter gold. Uh, sturdier boots. Fuck yes, I could use a new pair. Okay. Lore bonus. So they're including lore from the other game. I like that. I like that. These are boots, but they're sturdier. Fair enough. I'm so happy I played through Metal as fuck first. What do you got? Anything? Hello? Hello? I see that, but why? Oh, you can't climb that one. That's why. Fair enough. You always gotta check. Ooh. I will pillage your apples. I'm sure no one would mind if I took one or two. You received ten shiny apple? That is not one or two. Uh, I meant one or two handfuls. You're damn right. What's that? Finally, some shelter. I wonder if they've got some food as well, because I'm fucking famished. Be sure to try the chowder. If I can recall correctly, it's the weekly, weekly special. What kind of chowder is it? Clam and potato, with those little fancy schmancy green herb things they put on top of the gourmet foods you get in big restaurants. Oh, no shit. Sounds like a pretty good place. Nah, it's shit. <laughs> then why would you want me to try it? Well, you're hungry and it's the only thing they have available to eat on that particular day. Why does it matter if it's special? A lone guardsman appears to be storing next to the entrance of the building. No, sir. I was not out all night drinking. I've never even heard of the Ramstein pub. <coughs> I gotta clear my throat a little. <coughs> Are you right there, buddy? Of course, sir. Why wouldn't I? Wait. You don't sound like... But... Huh? Sleeping on the job? I'd never do such a thing. Guardsman Jip is much more responsible than that. Okay. Don't worry, I won't say a word. Thanks, you're a lifesaver, pal. I think I'll just lean against this wall and shut my eyes for a second. And he... Dead again. Can I wake him up again? Nope. What about... Oh, there is... Oh, see, there is a red button. I have that turned off. I should probably just hold it down. It's so nice to be out of the rain. Don't get too comfortable. What's that supposed to mean? You'll see. Uh -oh. Sometimes I really hate myself. Eh, you get used to it. It's kind of interesting. It prompts me to save. I tried with all my might to open the door, but alas, it was no use. For I didn't have the strength to make that impenetrable door budge. It probably just needs a key. Ah, uh, yes. Why didn't I think of that?
I'm vastly confused with this story right now. Hello, welcome to the Boathouse Inn and Homeless Shelter. I'm Rhiannon. It's a pleasure to meet you. Let's try to at least get to some combat or something. And then we'll call it quits, because I don't want it to go too long. And we'll just go from there. I'll probably have this game coming up often. So far, it's actually been really funny. In and Homeless Shelter? Yep. Not gonna explain that one? Nope. Fair enough. <laughs> God, it's so simple. How much for a room? I'm running a special today. If you order a meal and get a room, it will cost you 50 gold pieces instead of 75. That's a bit pricey for, for uh, We have a very extensive menu. Oh yeah? What's on it? Doesn't matter. All we're serving is clam and potato chowder. Then why does it matter how extensive your menu is? No idea, but we put those little fancy schmancy green herb things on top, like at the big expensive restaurants. I feel like I've heard this before. Yeah, we're getting some serious stage on it. You have it. It's like the voice of God is terrorizing the protagonist all throughout his story that the voice of God is telling. I'll take a room and, ch and a chowder, please. Very well, here's the key to your rooms. Rooms, as in multiple? Yep. When you rent a room, you have to buy two at once. Why? I only need one. Company policy, sorry. I don't make the rules. Well, who's in charge of this place? That would be me. I thought you didn't make the rules. Well, I lied. Enjoy your rooms and chowder. What a bitch! Okay. Oh, and one more thing. There's guests already stayed in your rooms. You'll need to get rid of them before you can sleep. Are you fucking kidding me? Thank you! Nope. They've actually been there for weeks, but I can't kick them out. They're really big and scary. Fuck my life. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, you big sissy. That's funny. Can I zoom through here? What's in here? I placed the key to the lock on the door and turned it ever so slightly. Success. Wow. Really? How the fuck did that even happen? Good going, jackass. I just turned the fucking key and the entire thing crumbled. How does a key break in a goddamn door? Please, someone explain this to me. Who dares disturb my slumber? Your slumber? You're not even in bed. Sometimes I prefer to sleep standing up. You got a problem with that? No, I suppose not. To each our own, I guess. Ahem. What I meant to say was, you're in an ugly bucket of metal. Your mother was a can opener, and your father was a pile of rusty nuts and bolts. Mostly nuts. How dare you speak of my parents that way? They were hardworking individuals. I'll have you know. I didn't say that. That wasn't me. Definitely was you. No, it wasn't. Totes was, though. I'm going to mash your skull into a fine paste and use it as a lubricant for my rock hard. Two inches of terror. Two inches of terror. Buddy, I think you're bragging about the wrong things here. I don't even want to know what the fuck you're referring to. Yeah. Yeah. I probably assumed a little early. Maybe talk about a pinky finger? You will pay for your insolence. Fuck my life. I don't know how you end up in these situations, Richard. You put me here. At least the music sounds familiar. Whoa. The combat's kind of intense looking. Oh, that guy's got a lot of health. And I can't hit him. Ow! There's more where that came from. Yeah. Wow. I feel seriously outmatched right now. I hope Men Boons is good. Oh, it was. Oh, that's not fair. That didn't seem like very much damage. Am I confused? Oh. 
I can't control my character. I like how the, how the although that's gonna kind of throw me off for how I edit. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. That was a little bit better damage right there, 109. Really? Oh, I got back. Oh, the question marks are gone. First fight. And I already got to play smart. My armor, you're dead in it. Mother will not be pleased. Mother? Forget I said that. Ow. I'm just gonna keep rolling, I guess. That's all I got. Better heal. I got one heal left. Okay, it heals 250. Now I know what it heals. Ow. Good. This one thing then. Whew! I swear to God, if this is like the last fight of as metal as fuck, I'm gonna be pissed. No, I doubt it. Because this is pretty basic. Although I only got. I don't even have him to half yet! Oh god! Ugh. I only got my one fight that I wanted. We'll be able to call it quits after. A certain point. I don't know, the story's been pretty good. Two hundred I wanna maximize my heal. That's gonna maximize it. I like how that gives me EP when I heal myself. That's nice. There's kind of a lot going on. That guy's gnarly looking, and I'm just this little tiny dude with blue hair. And, yeah. Um. Sure. Take that, you and your ball and chain, butthole. Last game, I think they did 500. So we go. You know, gotta take note. Yoink! <laughs> ow, ow, ow. That was a good one. For my first fight, not bad. Well, 100. And then miss, miss. Yeah, take that, bitch! I'm gonna tell on you. This guy is one japed, giant gaping vaginal chasm. I'm gonna tell on you too. You better smoke this clown. Work it on it. <laughs> no, my God, the giant vaginal chasm. What the hell? That's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. At least he's below half now. Holy cow. <laughs> No, that means nothing. Oh, yeah, it does. He's going to take a lot less, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, now it's got stars. That's good to know. I should wait for the defense to go off, huh? What a punk. At least that still does damage. Wow. It's apple soup. Really? Wow. 
you know what? I like apples. They're delicious. Let's have another one. Yay, Dick Long Chlong. <laughs> That's such an awesome name. Um, well, I can heal myself. And his defense is gone. That's what I was waiting for before I used that. Oh, big one. And I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Expect that I did not. That's um that's one heck of a fight. Oh, big hit. He's almost dead! We got him! Hopefully this will do it. Big hit! I swear to god. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, another big hit. Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, nice. Special. Well, fine. If I can keep missing, then do three shots. Say, Uncle. Mommy! Close enough. I was scared there. When that health bar was empty, I'll be honest, I was legit in fear of like, oh god, I just wasted the last six minutes fighting this guy. Requires cure, skill, cure ailments. That'll be nice. So I basically can heal myself. Oh, looks good. My luck really went up. Nice. Got my potion back. That's some money. That was a rough one. Don't be a bitch about it. Dude, that was rough. That was rough. Yeah, I would like to say... I like those saves. That makes me want to keep playing, though. And we're 33 minutes in. Let's just check it out a little bit longer. Well, now, what do we have here? $50. Dispel herb. Herbs in the last game. All ailment were... Okay, not that. Oh, do I have to go beat up that chick, too? I ran the key, I ran, I ran that key right into that tight little hole and I let her rip. Wait, what? Was it really necessary to word such a simple task in that manner? Come on, now. I, I thought it was pretty amazing. Nothing happened. Oh, you're gonna regret it. I didn't fucking do anything. You broke the door. No, you broke the door with your crazy old man voodoo, you fucking weirdo. I'm sorry, but please don't break doors like that. Seriously. They're explaining how in these kind of RPG maker games, when you open a door, the door kind of like disappears when you open it. I get what you're getting at. That's cleverly funny. Who are you? Have you come for pain or pleasure? Dominatrix Jojo Greymane. Wow, that's the best offer I've had all day. So what will it be? Pain or pleasure? Well... Well, actually, I've come to tell you to get the fuck out of my room, bitch! <laughs> what the fuck? That's not what I said! Hmm? I didn't tell you to get the fuck out of my room. That wasn't me! I never said that you did. You can't hear him? Hear who? Yeah, hear who, you psycho. Oh, this is getting good! So, I will ask you one last time. Could you come for pleasure or pain? I've come to ask you very politely if you wouldn't mind leaving the room so that I may get some rest. Sleep. Apparently, I paid for two rooms for some unknown reason. Oh, you've come to ask me to leave. Well, then, pain it is. Uh oh. Well, fuck. I'm fighting a dominatrix. I guess we're getting two fights. I'm plenty disciplined. We'll see. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just the way that sounded. Am I supposed to lose this one now? Oh. I'm scared. So much easier being able to use the directional pad. Nice. No! 
bitch. That did not feel good. But wait, there's more. Her name wasn't... Yeah, Don makes you Jojo. I was just not say it. Not Billy Mays, is it? Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, I missed that guy. Um... Eh, stat. Unless she does something crazy, I'm gonna regret it. No. Waves a fishbone around himself? I, I honestly wasn't reading that stuff. Maybe I should try reading some of that while it's going on, huh? Fishbone. I said fishbone, it's like my throat said there's a fishbone in it. Uh, speed her up. Can't see the health bar underneath there, that's kind of weird. Whoa! She's getting psycho on me! Shoot her in the boobies! She's a dominatrix, she'll like it. Mmm, I love a bit of pain. Oh my. Well, this isn't a good sign. It is for me. This chick's kinky. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a risk here. Aw, oh, poop. Magic. Okay. Interesting. For my second fight. This game's starting out pretty much swinging. She's not even halfway. I'm gonna focus on the fight mostly for right now, I think. Nailed the music with this game too, though. Like I say, these kinds of games, music makes the game. It really does. Especially like in combat when it's very, very much so. I gotta focus and kinda do good. Apple! Ow. Oh, you stinking second fight. Yeah, choke on that. Sorry, hun. No gag reflex. Oh, she's a keeper. When I'm done with you, I'm coming for the old man next. Hot. <laughs> I don't think she meant what you think she meant. Oh, God. Oh, no. That makes fast forwarding through these fights so much more difficult when you got those kind of comments in there. Oh! Woo! This is amazing. I don't think I was lied to. I don't think I was lied to when they, when people were telling me this game was funnier. So far, it's been pretty rich. And I only got one character on my team so far. This is only the second fight! And I've been fighting it- Oh god, such long fights. Such long fights. No. Yeah. Not gonna risk it. Then I'll be up. Now I'm up. Show me some crits. Crit, crit, crit. Or not. That's still good. At least they're all hitting. 
Get all the multi shots out there. Much damage as I can, as fast as I can. She's almost there. Why not? Almost there. Big heal. Yeah. Big damage, please. It's almost over. Is it over? No. Next time, it's over. Right now. Done. Fight number two. Two fights, that's it. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Lodged deep in my mouth. My mouth. Oh, yes, preferably. I, I added on that because it sounded fun, and I also was kind of stuttering a lot. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Level 5, page 50 EXP. Lightning bottle and convert magic. Potion, big sloppy eggplant, magic water. Nice. She wasn't so bad. Well, the first dude was worse. Develop a bit of a crush, did ya? Was that dominatrix? What do you expect? Yeah, I gotta save. Let's see what's in this bag, and I'm gonna call it quits, because this is... Or this bag, this bound woman? You... Cheese Whiz Khalifa? You killed my master. Leave me be. Chick was getting... Oh, wow. She really fucked your face up. Why are you so bothered? She's dead. Shouldn't you be happy? What can I say? I guess I'm just a sucker for pain. Good song. Agreed. Ha! Ha ha! Oh. That was good. So that's it? Is that it? Can I sleep in the bed? No? I guess I gotta go down here. There's a wanted poster now. Can I walk back here? Can I look at the wanted poster? Can I talk to you? So you cleared out the rooms I see? I did, and I have to say, this is the most amount of work I've had to do to earn a decent night's sleep in a long ass time. I'll tell you that much. Well, you're not done yet. You broke my doors. You're gonna have to make it up to me somehow. Come on, lady. I'm tired and hungry, and I just want to eat my meal and go to bed. I'll tell you what. You go ahead and eat your food and go get some rest. But as soon as you wake up, I've got another task for you to pay for the door problem. Deal. Very good. See you soon. I don't like that woman. Who are all these people? Who are you? You know, some people call me a space cowboy. The midnight smoker. That's awesome! What does that even mean? I get my loving on the run. Oh, uh, is this a room full of references? It's gonna be great, because I'm probably only gonna get like half of them, but it's all gonna be great. Adsy, fluffy, wadsy. I am the finest smith in all the land. Some would even say my steel is metal as fuck. Oh, Fluffy! He's alive again. He's alive again. Great game. I highly recommend it. Same. Have you no shame? Not a single fucking ounce, Richard. I 100% believe that. Ha! <laughs> cool. Let's talk to these people and we'll call it quits because this is a long intro into the Chronicles of Quiverdick, but a good one. Have you seen my Slinky? I'm sorry, I have not. It's right here, Slinky! Nice. Something tells me he's going up to collect a plethora of stuffed animals. He's growing up. Oh, okay. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Stuffies are based as fuck. Jesus. This is great. I'm willing to bet the house on bet the house on this game. I'm fully confident in my gambling abilities. You don't have a house to bet, numb nuts. You tried that last time. That's why you're homeless. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. I'll bet Merrick's house. I'm all in. Sergeant Merrick, you... The fuck you will. You see, what these gentlemen and gentle ladies do not know is that I've got an ace up my sleeve. So, you're cheating then. It's only cheating if you get caught, my friend. No, I'm pretty sure it's still cheating regardless. You just don't have to deal with the consequences if you don't get caught. And that is all that matters, my friend. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I'm winning. It's called beginner's luck, and it's fucking bullshit. Oh, stop being so salty, Steven. This is great. They're gambling. 
I shall pray for these sinners as they gamble their souls away into the deep dark abyss. Looks like just a friendly game of chance. Yes, a friendly game of chance, and there's a 100% chance their souls will burn for all eternity. That is one twisted sister. Wait, what's her name? Sister Tegan the Ray. Ha! This game is metal as fuck, too. Uh, Miss Spliff? A Spliff? I wish the captain here would share some of his herbal delicacies with me. Spliff? I haven't heard the word spliff since I had roommates. Dang! The man inhales from his pipe and produces a large smoke cloud into the air. I enjoy gambling as much as the next chap, but this is one serious table. I'll start over here. I don't know why this place is always so packed. The food sucks. When you've got the munchies like a motherfucker, the food ain't half bad. Fair enough. I'm not one for conversation. Go find someone else to bother. Wow, what a dick. Who are you? Pettigrew? Uh oh. I'd love to gamble with that other table over there, but I don't have the proper funds at the moment. I wonder if I could do an IOU. No one is going to loan you money, Cody. You've already proven to be a flake. I gave you 30 shillings yesterday. Ah, you suck. And I paid you back. No, you did not. You handed me 30 doll hairs and said that when you borrowed money from me that you said you'd pay me back 30 doll hairs instead of 30 dollars. Uh-huh, and what's your point? I don't know what the hell a dollar is, but it doesn't even remotely sound like shillings. Doll hairs? But why? I don't understand the confusion. Uh, fair point. That's awkward. I remember that joke when I was a kid. So we're even then? Wow, this is like taking me back to my childhood. So, I'm almost gonna guess that the creator of this game is an 80s kid. That's just an assumption. Just an assumption. Don't, don't, don't. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's just 80s kids would get a lot of these jokes. Oh, well, lady, um, 80s, 90s, whatever. I am never going to see my money again, am I? Probably not. This is why I don't like people. Well, that was kind of heated. Now, who are you? The Red Mouse. Hi, how are you today? I've seen better days. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic now that I'm inside. What's wrong with being outside? I was just out there. It seemed fine to me. Oh no, 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 no. The woman leans in close to you and whispers in your ear. There's bees out there. Like giant bees? The woman shakes her head. Uh, like venomous bees that can kill you with one sting? The woman shakes her head again. Uh, like mutant zombie bees that rot your flesh away and turn you into the walking dead? The woman shakes her head once more. Well then, what kind of bees? The woman leans even closer to you this time and whispers softly in your ear. Just regular bees. I'm confused. Bitches be tripping! Tell me about it. This dual conversation between the future dick and the past dick is great. I'm just going to throw that out there. So the plan is to walk up here and call it quits. I hope you all are enjoying. I really do. I'm going to be back to this game again probably tomorrow or the next day because I'm going to just try to stay on top of it. I'm going to try to keep it under 50 minutes. I apologize for that, but you got to kind of give me a little bit of credit here. A lot of story. Two really long fights that were kind of funny, so. Chronicles of Quiverdick. So far, A+. Plus. The combat has been improved to where you don't have to go sifting through a bunch of garbage. I can use the D-pad. This thing, the D-pad, I can use it instead of a stick, so it's a lot easier to move instead of this. That. Oh, it's so much better. Full screen for me. I'm not looking at a little square, and it works great, so. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Everything that I kind of had gripes with in the first game are improved and better in this one. Bravo. Hope everybody's enjoying. If you are, hit that like. Show me that support. Another way you can show support, if you don't want to hit the like, is buy the game. That doesn't show support to me, but it shows support to the creator that me as a, a recorder is doing something to show off a funny game. Right, Richard Longschlong? All right. Thank you, everybody. We'll be back again real soon. But until then, take care. Peace.